Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews. We are starting our Workhorse Whiskey Shootout right here, right now, and I am incredibly excited. If you didn't catch my video explaining what how we the shootout is set up, definitely go check that out. That way you won't get confused along the way as to how these whiskeys are numbered, how it's going, why it's blind, how it's blind, and all that kind of good stuff. So definitely go check out the, the video. I will link it up here so you can go see how this whiskey shootout has been set up. Um, and that way it'll make all the sense in the world to you as we go through it. But we have our first two whiskeys. They were placed at random. I don't know which two they are. In this video, they will be labeled number one and number two, and we'll see which one I think is best. So let's get started. We'll start with number one. On the nose, we've got some lighter fruits. A little apple, a little vanilla, a little brown sugar. A little bit of red fruit, red apple. Smells good. Hmm. Number two at the moment feels a little bit darker. A little bit lighter on the nose. It's a little trick they tell you is if you smell your hand in between smelling something else to kind of help clear your nose up. We'll try that out. Yeah, I mean, some light fruit, some light vanilla, a little bit of oak. A little bit weaker on the nose, though. So right now, for me, on the nose, number one has it. But let's get into the taste, what really matters. Cheers. So yeah, light fruits. On the front of the palate, you don't get as much of that red fruit character though, it's on the nose. is isn't quite coming across. There's a very little hint of it kind of coming into the mid palate. Mid palate, you get more of those standard bourbon characters, some caramel, some vanilla. Back of the palate, you get a little, that fruitiness ramps up just a little bit more, but a little bit of oakiness kicks in, a little bit of those uh, bitter oak tannins. Um, doesn't taste incredibly oaky, but it is good. I like the nose better than the, the palate at this point. Let's get a second taste. Yeah, more of the same. At this point, not tasting incredibly complex, but definitely tasting good. And just so you kind of know, the things I'm really looking for to kind of judge which whiskey is better than another at this point is not necessarily the, the power of the, of the flavors, although that is a factor. For me, it's more how the flavors work together with each other, kind of the balance, but it's not so much about balancing, but how those flavors work with each other and how complex the whiskey is, is really for me the most important. Obviously we want the power of the flavor too. And in this whiskey, I think the higher proof uh, variations that we have in here, we have a few whiskeys that are up at 100 proof. We'll probably take the edge on that, but really it's gonna be the complexity and balance of those flavors and how those flavors work with each other that's gonna make that whiskey what, decide whether it wins or not. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. Let's get a little water. And we'll move on to whiskey number two. Like I said, this one's not quite as bold on the nose. There's some nice dark characters there, but get it on the palate. Hmm. Give one more taste here before I give you any notes. This one definitely tastes better than it smells. It's got a few nice dark characters there. Feels like it's got a little bit higher proof, a little bit more punch. Um, we're staying on the darker side of things. A little bit of that like plum, red, juicy red grape. Mid palate, you get more of that like dark brown sugar. Finishes up with a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of dark character. Yeah, palate's way better on this one than the nose was, so. 
This is going to be a close shootout. These are both actually really good whiskeys. And as we know, these are all really good whiskeys. So some I like better than others, but they're all very solid, very drinkable whiskeys. So we're going to go back through. I'm going to start with this one, go to this one, and then we'll decide which one is the best. Yeah, again, more of the same. Nice, dark, robust. I like the realm this one's sitting in. Let's move on to this guy. Hmm. If this one tasted the way that it smells, it would be amazing, but it just doesn't quite pack as much flavor as on the palate as it does in the nose. Yeah, this one's just a bit lighter. This one likes to stick on the dark side. This one's more in the light, lighter fruit. Mid palate, it really kind of ramps up a little bit more, but. Oh, this is going to be tough. I might have to speed up some of the tasting sessions on here when it gets down to it, just because I don't want to waste a bunch of your guys' time. So I'm going to taste these a couple more times. I'm not going to do any talking. We'll speed it up so I don't waste any time, and then I'll give you my final decision. All right, so I've tasted these whiskeys a few more times, and it's a really, really close matchup because in terms of flavor, this one has a bit more flavor, and I think it's got a bit higher proof. But when it comes to the balance of flavors, they're both pretty evenly matched. Um, this one stays in that deeper, darker realm, which is good. This one is a little bit in the lighter to medium realm, but they're, they're all pretty well balanced. You're not, they're not cloyingly sweet. They're not overly bitter. The, pl the flavors that are there play off well against each other in both whiskeys, so they're pretty evenly matched there. I will say this one feels a little bit more complex to me. There's a few more flavor notes that I'm finding a little bit more interesting um, whiskey to, to taste and to drink. So for me in this shootout, number two wins. So I don't know which one either one is. I kind of have my ideas, but I don't want to put that out there just yet. So I have my ideas about which one these might be. But for the time being, number two wins. That'll be advancing on to the winner's round. Number one still has a chance to make it back up through though, and it will be advancing down to our loser's bracket. We'll get the opportunity to try to make its way up again and meet any other whiskey that makes it to the end in the championship round. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully this all works out. I was able to put the whiskeys on the screen. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. But anyways, you can catch me on social media at blind underscore reviews at Mission Bottle Kill on Instagram. And you can also send me an email at blind whiskey reviews. Let me know what you guys think of these shootouts in the comments down below and which one you think should have won. Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Leave a comment down below. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.